Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another brand new model. Actually, this model was released in 2015 of October, the October 2015 release. Okay, you're viewing a Turkish Airlines Boeing 777-300ER in the Instabol, the San Francisco livery in a 1-200 scale model. I actually purchased this model on February 18, 2016 from Troy's Toys based out of Overland Park, Kansas. His website is www.troystoysinc.com. This is the only one he ordered for me. And my suggestion, if you want to order JC Wings from uh, Troy himself, you probably need to put your order in as soon as it comes available. When it's pre-order, you got like about a week at the most, okay? All right, let me give you some heads up information about Turkish Airlines, okay? Turkish Airlines was founded on May 20th, 1933 as State Airlines Administration as a Department of the Ministry of Defense. Then fast forward to 1935, when the airline was then turned over to the Ministry of Public Works and was renamed General Director Directorate of the State Airlines Administration. Then three years later, in 1938, it became part of the Ministry of Transportation. Then fast forward to May 21, 1955, when the title General Directorate of the State Airlines Administration was eventually changed to its current name as we all know today as Turkish Airlines. Turkish Airlines was officially established on March 1st, 1956. Turkish Airlines is the national flag carrier airline in Turkey with its corporate headquarters is located at the Turkish Airlines General Management Building, which is located on the grounds of Ataturk Airport, which is approximately 15 miles west of the city center located in Yelsikoy, Yel which is a neighborhood in the district of Bar. Bakarokoy, Istanbul, Turkey. Again, if I didn't pronounce that right. Turkish Airlines also has hubs located at Istanbulga International Airport, located at Ankara, Ankara, Turkey, the capital city of Turkey, and Sabaya, Gochin International Airport, also located in Istanbul. And their focus city is Adnan Menderes Airport, located in Gazimir, Turkey. Turkish Airlines is the fourth largest carrier in the world by number of destinations served. Turkish Airlines also is the operator that flies to more countries than any other airline in the world. And Turkish Airlines currently is a four-star airline according to the international airline review firm Skytrax Magazine. Okay, folks, with all that said, this is the box that the mall came in. You see the, uh, see the top part up here is... Uh, Istanbul, Turkey. I'll go in detail that when I go and show you the model. And then there's San Francisco, okay? I'll give you some information about how that how this flight came about, okay? And that's the front of the box right there. You see there, folks? Now I'm going to let you see the back of the box. There ain't really much back there, all right? Okay, folks, this is the back of the box here. Ain't much, nothing back there. Now I'm going to show you the top of the box, all right? Okay, folks, this is the top of the box right here. And finally... Let you see the bottom of the box, all right? There you have it right there, the bottom of the box. You know, it says San Francisco, the Instable. The other side said Instable to San Francisco, vice versa. That's the triple seven three hundred yard and then one two hundred scale model, all right? Okay, with that said, after I went into the details of the, uh, the corporation and the airline, the boxing, now I'm going to show you the stands and the gear uh, replacements, and then I'll get into the model, okay? Okay, folks. This is the stand that the model came with. That you see there, custom stand there. There's the padded on there. Uh, you ain't gonna worry about scratching your plane when the model files off, all right? Now here is the gear replacements, all right? All right, folks, those are the gear replacements that came with the model and everything. I'll go into details in that in a moment, all right? Now I went to the, all the details with the, uh, the corporation, the airline, the model stand and the gear replacement now here is the model folks okay there you have it folks the JC wings Turkish Airlines instant bowl the San Francisco special livery and the triple seven three hundred ER one two hundred scale model now okay now the special live you're looking at here folks I'm about to get into the information right now all right Turkish Airlines commissioned a 777-300ER to sport an exclusive livery 
signifying the link between Istanbul, Turkey, and San Francisco, California, with an artistic design showcasing the San Francisco icon on one side of the aircraft and Istanbul, Turkey on the icon on the other side of the aircraft. This special library was also a billboard to promote the new nonstop service from Istanbul, Turkey to San Francisco, California, which was inaugurated on April 13, 2015. So with that said, let's get into the details of the model, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start at the front of the aircraft. You see the uh, cockpit windows right there. And then there's the Star Alliance logo right there, folks. Okay, let me tell you how Turkish Airlines became a member of the Star Alliance, okay? Turkish Airlines became a member of the Star Alliance on April 1st, 2008, which consists of 27 other airline members from five inhabited continents, okay? And then you go down right here, folks, called Buyukata, okay? Buyukata mean big island, also meaning prince or foremost. It is the largest of nine so-called Princess Islands in the Sea of Marmara, near, which is near Istanbul. It is officially a neighborhood in the Adalor Islands District of Istanbul Province, Turkey. Okay? And then you see the uh, Turkish Airlines titles right here, folks. Show you that. All right. Okay. And then now you see the uh, Instable to San Francisco title there, folks. All right. This flight was inaugurated and commenced on April 13, 2015. It became Turkish Airlines' second destination to California and the seventh U.S. destination and the ninth North American destination overall after Boston, Chicago O'Hare, Houston Bush Intercontinental, Toronto, Montreal, Washington Dulles, New York JFK and Los Angeles respectively okay and then we come over here you know that's the Turkish flag you know that's the national uh, flag carrier for the country of Turkey and then there's the inboard landing light right there folks all right and then you come over this way right here you see the big old engine right there folks like all carriers that uses the triple seven three hundred ER Turkish Airlines uses the GE90 115B engine on their 777-300ER aircraft. Okay, you see it at that angle. Now I'm going to put it at another angle, all right? Okay, you see the GE90 115B engine from this angle. You see the little cone right there, folks, all right? And then you come over here, you look at the gears right there. Very impressive right there. Little triple uh, wheels there. Okay, now I'm going to show you at another angle where the fan blades spin and all that, okay? Okay, I'm showing you from a front angle right here. The engines do spin, so I'm going to let you see the fan blades here. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to let you see the front angle right here. That's the uh, front of the aircraft right here. See the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers right there. And then you come down here, there's the... Uh, gears right there the gear lights you can't see them but they there but then I'm gonna tr put it over this way folks okay so you on here the, the gear the uh, engines do spin over here as well okay so with that said I'm getting ready to uh, put it back at another angle all right Okay, folks, now you see the rake wingtip on this side here, the red navigation light right there, folks. Right there, folks. And then you see the strobe light on the rake wingtip here as well. All right. Okay, now we're on this side. This is the San Francisco side, okay. I'm getting ready to give you to break down some of the uh, iconic uh, spots and everything. It's from the left right here, that's the cable car right there, folks. And then you jump over here, that's the Golden Gate Bridge. And then this little pyramid building right here is called the Trans America uh, Pyramid Tower Building. That's one of the iconic skyscrapers in uh, San Francisco. And you, you know most of the houses, they all like lined up like that. And then you see the little eagle there as well. Okay. And then the registration number, TC dash JJU okay 
This is Turkish Airlines 15 Boeing 777-300ER. The first test flight for this aircraft took place on November 5, 2014 and was delivered to Turkish Airlines on December 1, 2014. Okay? And then we get right here the Turkish Airlines logo. It's like a bird. The Turkish Airlines logo was modified in May 2010 and it is a symbol of a wild goose called the gray lag goose all right so with that said now i'm gonna let you see the uh apu exhaust system all right the apu exhaust coming up okay this is the apu exhaust right here folks along with the strobe light there as well okay i'm gonna let you see it from the rear angle all right okay now you're looking at it from the rear angle okay all right now I'm going to turn it to the other angle, all right? Coming up. Now we on this side here, folks. I used to start from the front of the aircraft and work my way back. But now, in fact, this is a special uh, library. I'm going to start from the back and work my way to the front, okay? Then I'm going to work my way back again, all right? Okay, there's the Turkish Airlines logo there. And then you see the uh, registration number, you no know, TC-JJU. And then on this side, it's the uh, Istanbul side, okay? And you see that little bridge right there? That's called the Bosphorus Bridge. This is the bridge that connects Europe and Asia, okay? And then you see some other uh, little mosque and all that stuff. You know, they're known for mosque in that country, all right? Little mosque temples and all that stuff, all right? Okay? And then you come over here. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. All right, and then you see the uh, rake wing tips and the strobe light on this side, and then there's the green navigation uh, light on this side of the uh, wing tip as well. Okay. Okay, folks, we're back on this side at the front of the plane now. Okay, there's the cockpit windows right there. There's the Star Alliance logo that as I uh, described earlier on the other side. Fuyukata, that's the name of the aircraft. The Boeing uh, logo there. The front cargo container door, the Turkish Airlines title along with the Turkish flag, the national flag. And then you have San Francisco, the Instabol on this side of the plane. And then you see the inboard landing light right there. And then there's the GE90 uh, 115B engine there on this side. And back over here this way is real. Well, let's see. Oh, right here. You can't hardly see it, but. That is the rear cargo container door, okay? So that's all the information on this side as well, all right? Now you got the details about this aircraft. Now I'm going to show you the top of the aircraft from a bird's eye view, and I'm going to show you the underbelly of it. And then uh, I'll go into details and all that stuff about the seating configuration on this aircraft and where to use this aircraft on, okay? And I'll wrap that up, all right? Here is the bird's eye view of the top of the aircraft. Okay, there's escape hatch door number one there. There's the uh, anti-collision beacon light there, folks. There's the SATCOM Wi-Fi box. Escape hatch door number two. There's another antenna there. Escape hatch door number three. The ADF antennas right there, folks. Then you see the paint job here on top there. And then there's SATCOM box number two. And then there's the uh, two antennas there. And then you get over here. Wow, no illuminator light. Very shot. Okay. Okay, no illuminator light. But just in case you want to know, those are the lights that used to be about right in here. That they're used to light up the tail right here as it flies during nighttime hours. Okay. And then we go here to the wings right here. There's the wing walkway there, folks. There's the top of the uh, G90 engine from the bird's eye view. And then you come over here, there's the registration number right there, folks. And then there's the weight wing tip on this side. Then we come on this side as well. Wing walk right here. Then the engine there, the GE90 engine on this side. And then the rake wing tip and the strobe light there as well. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the underbelly of the aircraft coming up next. 
Okay, this is the front of the aircraft, the gear doors, and there's the gears right there, folks, okay? And then you come right here. Oh, you see the Turkish Airlines uh, title. Sorry, I got it upside down. See the Turkish Airlines? Hold on, I'm going to turn it all the way, all right? Okay, I'm going to turn it this way. There's the Turkish Airlines there. And then we come here to two antennas there, folks. And the APU housing there, folks. And then we come to the gears right here. There. And then you see the uh, G90 engine underneath here. Then you come right here. There's the uh, fuel dump valve right there, folks. And the rake wing tip and the strobe light from this uh, spot here as well. The gears over here as well. The gears do tilt, okay. There's the engine right there. And then there's the uh, fuel dump valve on the side, the registration number. All right, there you have it. Now it shows you the view of the uh, the top of the aircraft and the underbelly of the under aircraft, which is kind of gray under there. It's pretty unique. Now I'm gonna show you the stand that the model came with. As you, I showed you earlier, this is it right here, folks. All right. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to put it on the stand. Here we go. Okay, folks, I finally got it on the stand with the gears and all that stuff. I will take the gears off momentarily. As you can see, the gears do tilt, see? All right. With that said, I'm going to put it at another angle, at the front angle. Here it is. Okay, folks, I got it at the uh, front angle, all right, facing us, okay? There you go. Let's see the engine spin again. Same on this side as well. Alright. Now I'm going to turn at another angle. Alright. Coming up. Okay, now I got it at this angle here, folks. Alright. Now I'm going to turn at the tail cam angle. Alright. Coming up. Okay. Now I got it at the tail cam angle. If anybody is watching this uh, review has flown a triple seven such as this one, no matter which airline, or you're on a three A or a seven eight seven nine, if you got in your video see, they show you what it's like. You know, they got a video cam right, probably, probably right up there. You see the top of the aircraft. Same way as here. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn back to the original uh, direction. All right. Okay. Now I got at this angle for a reason, cause uh, for one reason I'm gonna take the gears off. All right. Then I'm going to show you in flight mode, and then there's the gear replacements, and I'll put them back on, okay? Take this one off here, and take this one off here, and take this one off. No gear light, but this there, there okay? All right, now I'm going to put it in, uh, in flying mode. Let's see it in flying mode, okay? Okay, now you see it in flying mode. No. You can display it with or without the gears. That's your choice. I choose to display mine with the gears on. It's more valuable to the model and the stand, all right? But however, if you do want to display it in flight mode, here is the gear replacements, okay? There you go, folks. All right? So with that said, I'm going to put the uh, gears back on here, and then I'm getting detailed the seating and the, uh, the destination to use this aircraft on, okay? And I'm going to wrap it up, all right? Now I'll show you all that. I'm a, it rolls. It don't roll hardly. It rolls hardly. No, yeah, it rolls a little bit, though, hardly, though, but you don't roll too hard because uh, the gears might fall off, okay? So, all right. Turkish Airlines ordered 32 Boeing... 777 300 ERs with 22 currently operating in service and another 10 on order. Okay, and now the seating configuration. All right, this version here seats 337 seats in a three class configuration. Now, here's the breakdown. Okay, from rows one to four, you have 28 business class seats. Okay, and then from rows 11 to 20, you have 63 economy comfort seats. And then from rows 23 
all the way to rows 53, which is the back of the aircraft. You have 246 economy class seats, which bring the total 337 seats, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you got the next version, the second version, which seats 349 uh, passengers in a two-class configuration. It's from rows 1 to 7. It's 49 uh, business class seats from 1 to about 7, about right there, about 1 to 7 right there. And then from rows 11 all the way back to 53, you have 300 economy class seats. That's the second version, all right? Now, wrap it up. Here's one more, inf some more information finally. In addition to utilizing the Boeing 777-300ER to San Francisco, Turkish Airlines also employs their 777-300ERs on routes from Istanbul to Los Angeles, Chicago O'Hare, Houston Bush Intercontinental, Miami, New York JFK, Gansu China, Hong Kong, Shanghai Pudong, Beijing Capital, so Incheon, Tokyo Narita, Toronto, Taipei, Taiwan, Mumbai, India, London, Heathrow, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Buenos Aires, Argentina, Vienna, Austria, Manila, Philippines, and beginning on May 16, 2016, Turkish Airlines will launch nonstop service from Istanbul, Turkey, to the world's busiest airport, Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport in Atlanta, Georgia using the 777-300ER on this route as well. But that one will be used on a two-class config configuration, all right? So with that said, this is all I have for this video review. And let me know if you uh, you already got this model or are you making plans to get it, if you can find it. But hope you have to uh, check out this review. It'll help you to go find some way to go find this model if you can find it. Because your only hope is eBay as we speak. So with that said, please take care, rate, and subscribe, and leave me your comments at the bottom of the screen. See what I can do to improve my video quality, okay? And in the meantime, take care. God bless. Next up, the JC Wings EVA Air 777-300ER in the Rainbow Ribbon livery. Stay tuned for that one, okay?